Okay guys, now I'm going to get into doing some fancy fabrication. The build of the Hyperion go-kart was achieved with the help of these 12 contributors. Their respective links can be found down in the description, so please take the time to check them out. They deserve it. Okay, now I painted the, up these round, these uh, rails that go around the foot spots. Remember in the video where I said that I might want to do some fancy stuff around here? Well, that's what we're going to be working on right now. I'm going to cut some two inch wide flat stock. And then I think on the front here, I might be nine inches long. And then we're going to do some other fancy stuff up in this corner here. And then it's going to come down and go across and then come up here. And then I'll put the same piece that was that would that's going to go right here back here and I've got my jig set up for three and three quarters inches I'm gonna be cutting four of those so let me cut all these pieces up okay well I got them all done and I took my uh, uh, sanding wheel to them that and sanding them down and uh, go like that let's do something else to it okay so I made this pattern and I just started at one end had the tape measure going across here just start at one end and then just marked every single quarter going straight across all right now this is the second one and this here is the first one Gives it that uh, heat sink look. And because of the rotation of the blade, see how these don't quite get to the line right there? Well, I had a feeling this was going to happen. So when I was cutting down, I tried to get close to this line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my grinding blade again. And I'm going to cut on this side of the line and try to line all those grooves up with another groove. Yep. But first, before I do that, I want to do this one. All right. Well, I got those two done. Kind of went over a little bit on this one. See that? This one here seems to be all right. After they're painted black like that and I think I'm only gonna do this on two of them because that this was really hard to do if I had a bandsaw that'd be a little bit easier to do because then I could just put the pieces in at an angle with the blade going up and down so I think what I'm gonna do now is uh, put these on drill the holes and then the uh, last thing I'll do is paint these well that's it for this video guys uh, and the next one I'm going to uh, I'm not going to put anything fancy back here just because it's, the fender is going to be covering it and stuff like that. So there ain't no point in putting anything back here. But up here, it's going to be different. I'm going to put some stuff kind of in a U shape down here. So, yeah. That's kind of neat. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull out my grinder. I'm going to put an edge on here. And it's going to come right up to this point and then stop. Because this is where I'm going to put a bolt. And then I'll start the edging again, going up this way. See, I still have them connected because I'm going to put the edge on.